Hey guys. Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, if you missed the first episode, I will link it in the description box and at the end of this video. Um, but welcome back. It's episode two of Anything About Whatever. It is Monday, January 17th. It's 2 a.m. Um, and yeah, I always wait until like a day or two before to record because time just goes by so fast. Um, I don't know. I just, <laughs> it's like I need to record somewhere between Wednesday and Saturday would be more ideal, you know, to give myself time to edit, even though I don't do much editing. But, you know, I'm a procrastinator. But here we are. It's going to be up Wednesday morning. So it'll be okay. Um, I'm just sitting here hungry and, you know, replying to stupid pro-life tweets because they're all idiots, as we all know that. But anyways, today's episode is going to be about adulting and how adulting ruins everything, which we of course all know that um yeah the past couple of months have just sucked extra well like the past like year year and a half has sucked but this past couple months have just sucked extra because I have nothing to do and like no one to talk to why? Because they work. And when they aren't working, then they're busy with something else. And it freaking sucks. Obviously, um, if you know who I am, you know I'm obviously unemployed. Um, so I'm literally home all day, even though I sleep most of the time because I messed up my sleep schedule even worse than I already was. But, um, yeah, but anyways, I wake up and I just am on my phone all day. I'm either on TikTok, watching YouTube, or listening to music, and I eat and I sleep. And then I go to sleep at like 6 a.m., wake up whenever, and that's, that's my day, every day. And it's just been more lonely lately just because it's like I don't, I can't talk to my normal friends because they freaking don't respond. They don't respond because they're either stuck at their jobs or they have a kid to take care of or they're too depressed to want a message. It's like I literally have, I talk to like three people people who am I supposed to talk to like this is boring and it freaking sucks and I just think about how <laughs> we used to not have to worry about this stuff you know it was so much easier obviously when you were a kid or even a teenager even though some teenagers worked I didn't well technically I did because I used to babysit. I did that for like seven years. Gee, I wonder why I don't want to have kids. Um, but you know, I've never had a like outside of my house quote unquote real job. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, you could see your friends every day when you went to school. You could talk after school either hang out with them or text each other and all that stuff and then you graduate and it's all over pretty much it just goes downhill pretty fast people move to different states people get married which is insane to me they trap themselves with kids which just especially once they have kids it's definitely just over like you're going to see them once a year, 
if even that. And then we know if you're like me, you're not doing anything with your life. It just sucks even more. It's like they notice it. Like they, of course, notice it. But at the same time, they kind of just, they just accept it because what are they going to do? You know what I mean? They have bills to pay or they have a kid to take care of. So they really don't have a choice but to have a job, sometimes multiple jobs. And it freaking sucks, dude. Like, and I know it bothers me more. I feel like it bothers me extra more because I am stuck at home all day. So like I'm paying attention to it more because I literally don't have anything to do or anyone to talk to because I'm just sitting home alone in my room while they're at job their work for eight hours and like sometimes they'll text me on their break which isn't long to begin with so there isn't even a conversation that actually takes place and it's just it never ends it's a never-ending cycle one of us texts the other, hey, what's up? Oh, not much, this and that, or I'm watching TV, or I'm about to cook dinner, or about to go to bed. Then that's the end of the conversation until a week or more later. And then the same thing happens, a five text conversation. This is life now, and it sucks. And people act like I'm supposed to look forward to this. You can't be serious. I'm supposed to look forward to doing what you're doing. Working eight, an eight hour job or more. Also, if you hear some type of weird noise, okay, it's not a fart. All right, it's my bed frame. All right, <laughs> just saying. Um... Uh, dang, I forgot what I was saying. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, so you work eight hours, sometimes more, almost every day of the week, depending on the job. You work, you come home, you eat, you have a little bit of time to yourself, you sleep, and then you wake up to do it all over again in the morning. That's supposed to appeal to me? I'm supposed to want to do that? Are you out of your mind? Even just think thinking about having to do that, because I've kind of been looking at job listings, just thinking about it literally makes me want to bash my head up against the wall. That's how much it pisses me off. It pisses me off to the point where I pretty much just start crying because I'm an angry crier. So, like, I can't do this. I would have mental breakdowns going to school because I hated getting up in early in the morning. Like my bus came at like, I think my bus would come at like 6.30 or something like that. I would, and my senior year was the worst year of my high school life. Whoever said high school was the best four years of your life was a liar. I don't know what kind of school you went to or what kind of life or what kind of life you had, but um, you must have been going to some rich, fancy school because what are you talking about? I feel like people who say that were popular. They were the people that got good grades. They were the people that, you know, got asked to prom and homecoming. I didn't get any of that. <laughs> so... Where was the best part supposed to come in at? But yeah, my senior year of high school, I would wake up late every day. I literally had to get ready in like 10, 15 minutes tops um, and run to the bus stop every single day because I had to run up the street. And I think it also was my senior year where I would be so pissed off waking up in the morning that sometimes I just wouldn't go 
Like, I would just turn my alarm off and just lay there and just not go to school because I was so angry about being woken up early in the morning, having to go to school for seven hours to sit there and learn stuff that I don't care about and I'm never going to use in my life and be around people that I don't like. I just wouldn't go. And I did that. Our minimum days that we were allowed to miss without a doctor's note was 10 days. So I did that 10 different times. And, you know, they sent that stupid letter talking about, oh, you've missed 10 days of school. If you ever miss any more, you have to have a doctor's note. Blah, blah, blah. Kiss my ass cheeks. (laughs) So, of course, after that, I couldn't miss anymore because... I didn't even have a doctor back then, so what was I going to do? I mean, I guess I could have faked it, but whatever. Also, they're acting like 10 days is a lot. We have to go to school for 180 days, and you're going to lose your mind because I missed 10 days? That is nothing. Like, are you kidding? So, yeah, I would... Oh, my gosh. And you know when you're tired, you're just really irritated. I remember one time I was so pissed off that when I was walking to the bus stop, I was literally crying as I was walking. Like, I don't know how y'all do it. Like, I genuinely do not. I would be crying every single day of my life and having y'all just act like this is normal and that it's supposed to be a good, normal life to live like this. And it's not. It sucks. Oh my gosh. So yeah. (laughs) Adulting sucks and it ruins everything. It ruins your life. It ruins your freedom. It ruins your sanity. And then you work till you die. Wow. What a gift. Isn't that so amazing? And then you have kids to force it on them too. And expect them to be grateful about it. Make it make sense. I remember one time, I don't know what we were talking about, but I had said to my mom, I was like, I didn't ask to be born. And her response was, you know what that sounds like, right? Now, she didn't elaborate on that because I didn't ask her to. um, But I'm assuming that she was insinuating that it sounded suicidal. um, And... I'm just like in my head. So I'm suicidal for stating a fact. Um, okay. Make that make sense. Like it's the truth. Like you'll literally say that to somebody and they'll want to throw you in a mental hospital. Um, it's a fact. It applies to everybody, including you, because nobody asked to be born. Our parents forced it on us so that they could get something out of having kids. What that is, who knows? But it was to have mini-me, to boost their ego, to fill some void that they needed to fill. And then they have their precious kids. And this is what we have to live with now. Wow. Thank you so much. It's amazing. I love it. Oh my gosh. So yeah. (laughs) What is the point in all this? Like I just don't get it. I don't see the appeal. It infuriates me. And it infuriates me even more that people don't care that they force their kids into this. Because they don't care about anything. (laughs) They don't care that they force their kids into this shitty world that's just getting shittier they're complete idiots who want to sit there acting like their kid is going to be the chosen one to cure cancer get off your high horse on that one because it's not happening it's just what is the point point? and all these stupid videos and books people write about how to get rich 
how to love life, how to never work a day in your life. Stop making stuff up. That's another thing. The do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life is complete BS. Because the second someone sees that you're a little bit good at something, the first thing they want to they want to suggest is, oh, you should turn this into your job. You should sell this. You should sell these, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, people don't even want you to enjoy your hobbies anymore because they want you to turn it into an obligation, into a job that you will have to sit there and force yourself to do every single day for hours and hours. And they're ex- and they expect you to still like it. The point of a hobby is to do it when you're in the mood to do it because it's relaxing and fun. Not to turn it into a job and an obligation where you have to meet deadlines and make it as perfect as possible because you're trying to sell it to someone and you don't want to get a bad review. That's supposed to be fun to me. I'm so sick of people saying that to me because they know I like to paint or they know I like to make clay earrings and sometimes I draw. I have not drawn since November of 2020. I have not painted since May of 2021. I have not made clay earrings since the end of 2019 I'm pretty sure and you want me to turn that into a job I can't even do it for myself so make it make sense but I explain I tell this to people and they look at me like I'm stupid as if I'm speaking a different language because for some reason they don't understand they don't get it they can't comprehend everything I just said to y'all Like, what aren't you understanding? It's not a hard concept. You and people act freaking stupid, dude. I'm at the point now where, like, I'm starting to get fucked. Um, financially, I guess. You know, my, um, stimulus check money is... At its wits wits end. (laughs) So now it's just like, you know, once that's gone, I'm going to be back to having nothing. Oh my God. I cannot believe this shit, dude. Like I genuinely sit there when I, I feel like some people really don't think about the fact they have to work forever. Like they have to work until they can't. I feel like they don't think about it at all. And that's one of the reasons why they don't care that they force their kids into it. Because they have brainwashed themselves to not think about it so much. And it's like, that's reality. Like, I sit here and think, like, once I get a job, I dead ass have to do this shit forever. that doesn't bother you if you're a non anti-natalist watching this that doesn't bother you at all I don't get it their excuse is oh well that's just life it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do that's just the way life goes And they don't want to admit that it's literally modern day slavery, especially if you live in America. All these stupid job, um, like, requirements in the description. Hold on, let me try and find one. (laughs) Let me look at this one. All these stupid job um, requirements. Hold on. Yeah, must, um, you have to frequently lift objects that are 30 or more pounds. You have to 
be comfortable in indoor environments and the changing of temperatures. You have to um, spend eight hours on your feet and be able to stand for eight hours and constantly moving around and this and that and must have a flexible schedule and must be able to work weekends and must be able to do that, must be able to smile 24-7 as if you're happy to work for the rest of your life, must have a team spirit with a customer-focused attitude, flexibility to work in early morning shifts, must have experience. You know, all that bullcrap, dude. Like, are you kidding me? Like, this is stupid. And it's like, I don't. <laughs> this one particular job that I'm looking at, just because it's something that I kind of enjoy doing, it's like I can't do it professionally. But it's like, dude, just give me instructions and I'll help you figure it out. Like, but they want you to have experience as that or the skills in that, um, you know, and whatever. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Like, it's just so stupid to me. What was this other one I was looking at? Hold on. <laughs> It's like, I don't, what do you want me to do? Especially with the whole standing eight hours thing. Um, I have, I already have back problems. My back would start hurting within an hour of being at work. So I'm supposed to have to work for a minimum of eight hours, stand the entire time. Even if my job can be done sitting down, they don't care, America. Even if your job can be done sitting down, they don't want to let you do that. Because apparently that's like a bad look or it's lazy. I'm like, why does it matter? If the job is getting done, why does it matter if I'm sitting or standing? Like, make it make sense. It's literally slavery. Um, so yeah, must have the ability to multitask and work at a quick pace and team oriented and dependable and strong work ethic. Have a positive attitude about what? What am I going to be having a positive attitude about? I don't want to be here. I'm not going to want to be at any job ever in my life. So what's so positive about that? Nothing. Ability to communicate effectively with guests and team members. Cure my social anxiety. Why don't you do that? Like, so stupid. Like, the only... Like, all these. All these cashiers can sit down. And you know why that is? Because all these, I'm 99% sure, isn't even an American company. It's like German or something, or like, I don't know, Australian, British. It's like not American. And I'm pretty sure that's the reason why the cashiers are able to sit down. But any other store in America? Nope. You have to stand there entire time. Stand the entire time. Have your feet hurt. Have your back on fire. And smile the entire time and don't complain about it. Welcome to your life. Wow. How dare I not want to do that? How dare I be upset that I was forced into this stuff to have to do that for the rest of my life? Sue me. Ugh, I'm so ungrateful. Oh my God. Like, y'all are literally fucking stupid. They just accept this stupid life how it is and this slavery bullcrap. Pure stupidity. And then force it on someone else and expect them to not complain about it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my mind, y'all. So yeah, 
I don't know. And it's like on top of that, you you um fill out these stupid applications. They don't call you back, and then oh, it's like oh well if you if you wanna um appear good to them, you call them to show interest to show that you're really interested in getting a job. And you do that. That's what I did with my first application I did, um, which was back in May. I think I waited like a week and I didn't hear anything. So I decided, oh, let me show that I'm interested, even though I'm not, obviously. So I call them, set up a phone interview for the next day, had the phone interview, which I was like losing my mind over. Because I don't know what to freaking say. I don't know what questions they're going to ask me. So I was trying to look up like interview tips online on YouTube. And I had written down some questions and my answers so that I would be prepared if they asked me that stuff. Which of course they didn't. None of the questions they asked me were anything close to what I had written down. So I just had to sit there looking stupid with my voice shaking from anxiety trying to come up with answers to these questions like what would you do if you were having trouble with a co-worker tell me about a time where you had to do this and this you know questions that like I have to think about from years ago I'm like are you kidding me like what kind of stupid questions are these of course I didn't get the job surprise surprise fucking bullshit I remember a couple months ago I went out every single store that I went to had a help wanted sign and it just made me laugh because these people need slaves so bad but how much do you want to bet that if I would have applied to every single one of those stores I still wouldn't have gotten anything they want slaves so bad but don't hire anybody like uh huh you're an idiot like you're dumb so anyways oh my gosh I just don't I just don't know what I'm gonna do (laughs) y'all I why couldn't I have just been born rich like seriously or been so attractive that I can just get some rich guy and never have to work a day in my life because that's the way it should be I remember someone one of my friends asked me do you expect everything to be handed to you (laughs) it should be I didn't ask to be here. I did not sign up for any of this. I did not sign up to have to go to school for 13 years. I did not sign up to have to work for the rest of my life. I did not sign up to have to die against my will. I did not sign up to have to suffer mentally. I did not sign up for any of this. I did not sign up to have to work for the things I want. So yeah, I do think it should be handed to me. Why not? I was literally forced here. Just because you have accepted your modern day slavery shift doesn't mean I have to. Just because you want to sit there and work for what you want to get, good for you. Sucks to be you. Sorry that you accept, accept that stuff so easily of what you were forced into. So yeah, I do think I should be able to get what I want and have it handed to me. Bite me. Anyways, I've been recording for 30 minutes already. My God. (laughs) So moral of the story is, adulting sucks and I don't want to do it. Simple as that. People love to complain about me complaining. 
one of my friends told me he was like all you do is you or you complain too much um because I was talking about how like I don't like people and how I don't want to have to deal with like bad customers and he was like you complain too much um not every customer you're gonna get is gonna be bad like I don't care I don't like people in general I have social anxiety I'd probably start crying if I did get a bad customer none of that is worth it to me and in regardless I'm allowed to complain about stuff that I did not sign up for just because you've accepted it and you don't complain about it good for you like sorry that you chose that that's not my problem but I'm going to complain about what I was forced into because I have every right to what do you mean that's like <laughs> that's like punching someone in the face and then telling them not to complain about it uh huh anyway life is stupid working is stupid it's a waste of time and it ruins everything working ruins everything having kids ruins everything and if you do both then your life sucks even extra so if you excuse me um it's 2 30 and i can go to sleep when i want to and i can wake up whenever i want to um so i'm gonna go back to doing that maybe i'll fill out this stupid job application probably won't um <laughs> that's another thing that bothers me is that fill, filling out like what if i do get a job right like this job i'm looking at what if i end up getting it then my entire routine is completely changed and i have to start getting up every day having to leave the house which i also hate doing i hate leaving the freaking house dude and on top of that these job listings never want to tell the hours that they want you to work they'll either just say a.m or p.m or they won't say anything at all i think this job wants you to work in the a.m and it's like what what a.m like a 6 a.m or like a 10 a.m because i'm not waking up at six in the morning i'm not waking up at five in the morning like that is not happening because that's way too early and i'm guaranteed to be in a horrible horrible mood and that would probably get me fired like i would probably get fired for either yelling at someone who was getting smart with me or for my quote-unquote bad attitude because I have anger issues I'm not a morning person I have zero patience none of this is going to go well for me <laughs> honestly it's not so moral of the story is I'm fucked and I want to uh, punch myself in the face anyways I'm going to go back to watching Bad Girls Club. Um, <laughs> and enjoy not being at a shitty job that doesn't pay you enough. Um, you know, yeah, you don't get paid enough. They're making everything expensive. Yay for the Dollar Tree now being a dollar twenty-five tree good job on that expensive rent your expensive kids having to work multiple jobs and still struggle you're not inspirational to me you're not i don't want your life i don't want to be you i don't want to be a slave what's not clicking anyways that's it for today's episode um Oh my gosh. 
life is some bullshit, dude. It really is. Um, if you missed the first episode, um, it will be linked somewhere. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you are in. I hope you are enjoying the podcast so far. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm sure I'm going to remember something later on that I wish I would have said. I did that the last time. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.